we're headed up a river for some early spring walleye, or as we like to refer to it, what to do with a bored teenager, coming up next on The Journal. Hi friends, and welcome. Today, well, today we're going to take on one of the most difficult and dangerous questions to face any parent or grandparent for that matter. What do you do with a teenager who's suffering from cabin fever? The ice and snow are all gone. The school year's almost over, but in their mind at least, it's dragging along. This is the time when they start getting a little bit crabby, a little bit bored. And I have to tell you, the complaints and the lethargy start piling up like the dirty socks on the floor of their room. You know the beast I'm talking about if you have one. Well, today, we're going to try to fix that. We're going to take a teenager on a fishing trip to kind of shuck off a little of that winter doldrum and hopefully get him into spring. Friends, I'm your host, Kyle Randall. This is my Wilderness Journal, and we're going walleye fishing as an attempt, at least, to cure a little bit of cabin fever right now. We had just gotten set up when I noticed a mink over on the far bank, and we were all watching him hunt around in the grass, all except for Bob, that is. Fortunately, he was still paying attention to the fishing. You don't have a fish already. There's a couple on this river. It kind of looks like yeah. a fish. Yeah, off to a good start. Yeah. Hey, Bob. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Do me a favor, show that to Ian up there, will you? Just, just kind of give him an idea. There you go, Ian. That's what they look like. All right. <laughs> go get one. There's a start. That'll, that'll keep two. That's probably a 15 inch fish. Yeah, a little better. Nice job, man. What'd that take? Four or five minutes anyway? Maybe. We'll get them figured out. We'll <laughs> dial it in. Right. And Bob was right. It wasn't long before... Bob's got another one. Bob, you're making these kids look bad. We're going to have to make some switches, boys. Yeah. That's a good one. Yep, a little bit of a stank there. Ah, no, no, no. That, that, <laughs> what, Bob! Look here. Uh-huh. Now, just a minute, I want to explain something to Nick. Not what we're doing. No. Not a walleye. No. Hey, nice fish, Bob. It's fish, right? Take what I can get. Middle of March, I'll take yep, anything. Got my full bet. That's right. You got <laughs> Well, at least we were seeing something. What'd you say to him? I think I just caught something. <laughs> I don't know. The fishing had started off a little slow, but even in an urban area like Midland, Michigan, there was more than enough wildlife to provide some distraction, some entertainment until the next bite. Things were starting off a little slow, but after Bob repositioned the boat a little to give Nick and Ian a little better access to the side of this little creek where the fish seemed to be holding, well, let's just say that things started working out a little better for them. Got one. What do you got there? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. You caught a fish, dude. Oh, you gonna get that neck? That one's a little small, don't you think? Yeah. Well, yeah why don't you small. put him back? I don't think like you'll make 15. Well, you got one. Okay. Yeah. I'll get another, only a bigger one. Okay. Right. You see there? It was already starting to work. Just a couple of bites and everybody's all smiles. The fish were tight to the bank though, so we fished that spot for a little bit longer and then Bob moved us along. With the fish up shallow like that, one of the things you have to do is search for the little pockets, the out of way places the fish pile up and that's exactly what we were doing. Right over there by that tree, the spot. The spot, yeah, yep. show me. Oh yeah, call your shot, sure. Yeah, there he is. I really do have a fish. I know you do. <laughs> no, you got a good fish. Swing him out. Oh, 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 now lift up, straight up. Holy smokes. Look at that. <laughs> nice job, right there, bro. Ooh. That's a dandy, Walter. They get that big, they don't call him Wally no more. It's Walter. Nice fish. That's a dandy. 
right there. Heck yeah. First fish of the day. Well, your first fish My of the first day. first fish of the day. <laughs> yeah. It's twice the size of Ian's. What did he say? It's twice as high as mine. Well, you tell him for me he's twice as old. <laughs> nice. You going to keep that one? Absolutely. All right. Throw him in the box. That's an eater there, brother. Cheeks out of that one. Absolutely. Jigging on a, with a gulp bait. Yep. I think we may go to that. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Well, something else to note, friends. This cure is kind of like a small spider, and it isn't just for young people. Now, if you put a fishing pole into the hands of just about anybody, well, it won't be long before a smile starts crawling up on their face, too. What do you got? Uh-huh. How kind. <laughs> hey, uh, you're starting to make a habit out of that. Yeah, I know it. Want to kiss it? I'm good. Thanks. Right, did you ask him if he wanted to kiss that fish? I did. And he said no? He did say no. He turned it down, I, man. Uh, I wanted to say yes, but, you know, it's on TV and all. I understand. <laughs> Do you bring these people? <laughs> uh huh? Is this your outfit? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yes, well, apparently. Kissing your catch is more of a bass fishing thing, and no, no, I don't know what's wrong with these guys. <laughs> and fortunately for me at least, before they had a chance to try to explain it, uh -oh. Bob was hooked up on what looked like another good yeah, walleye. Man. That may be much longer than the one you got, I man. think so. You ready? Yeah. Look at there. Look yeah. At that. I don't know, Nick. He may have you, brother. It's a good one. I don't yes, like so. sir. It's a good fish, though. Yeah, it's not quite <laughs> as good as you. Right. You have to understand, Bob, Nick fishes with me, and he understands the basic policy of what makes a fish good. They're all good. I like them big, I like them small. You know, you know what makes a fish good? When it's yours. That's true. <laughs> you see that, Ian? Yeah. All right. Do that. <laughs> all right. There you go, boys. Now they're all in there. I know mine's the biggest. Yeah. How are you going to prove it's not, right? Yeah. <laughs> I warned you he fished with me. I'll give it to him. The bigger fish were definitely tucked into those little pockets close to shore, but they were hitting if you could make the cast to get in there, and there were enough of them that everybody was getting bit sooner or later. What you got? What? what is that fancy little fuzzy thing you got on there? Never mind what's on that. <laughs> that was sneaky. Never mind what he's fishing with. That's. Let's see if we can find a net with that. E. That's two, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice job, man. That's a good one. <laughs> it's a fatty. It is. Good fish. Grab it up underneath the gills. Got it on the cheekbone there, your thumb on the bone. On the jawbone. Yep, hold on tight. There you yep. are. Turn around here and let's see that. That's a father and son fish. You can eat from one side and your dad can eat from the other. <laughs> I'll take the front. Okay. Good call. <laughs> what do you think, man? You gonna keep that one? Yeah. Nice. I'll tell you what, they're not real fast today, but there's some good well, fish in here. Work for them. I don't mind working for them. They're quality when we get them. Yep, that that's uh that's coming to a barbecue pit near me. You didn't think I was going to let you keep all of them, did you? I may have thought. You may have thought. A little. A little. Yeah. Well, you're going to keep that one? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Put yes. him in the box. Nice job, man. Starting to figure it out. Yeah. You yeah. know, just... little tiny soft spots and get out of that fast water. This water's high and they're moving right up in the bushes. All right. Well, now, if I'm not mistaken, that's two fish for you. Yep. You know what your pod, my pod say? What? Once what is an saying? accident, twice is a coincidence, three times be a fact. Okay. Get back to work. <laughs> you see that smile? Yeah, I really think this cure works better than penicillin, and I know it tastes better when you fry it. Uh-oh, in the back of the boat. You know what happened, Ian? Bob heard somebody say he, you had two. <laughs> had to trump him. Of fish. That's all right. Every single time, it's still okay. It is still okay. I'll take them. We better put that in back. 
Hey, buddy. You gone. That's it. Hey. And now? Now what? Yeah, now you're back down. You got to catch two whistle trout to catch up. Okay. The friendly competition was starting to kick in, and the fish were definitely biting. We were all catching something, even if it wasn't always the target species. It's close to feeling as a walleye I've ever had. Though. Right there. <laughs> there. We're catching all kinds. It's a multi-species trip. Yeah. Cool looking bugs on it. It's a good all thing right. Eric ain't here. He'd want to study them bugs. <laughs> Whoa. What, uh... What are we fishing for there, Nick? You throw that any higher and you have to call the FAA. It wasn't really originally that high. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> no. Nope. Is there any blood? <laughs> no, we're clear. Really, Dad? <laughs> that jig may be a little heavier than you were thinking. Well, what do you do? <laughs> this is just guys? a hot mess. These guys, you catch a fish or two, everybody gets all excited. Huh? Quick, all right, get the line in the water. <laughs> all right, Nick, I'm watching. No pressure, though, buddy. There's pressure. Uh-oh. Another fish. This is the kind of a spot here, Bob. Yeah, it took us a little while, but we found them. Yeah. That's a good one. Better than that last one. Well, the last one was a stick, Bob. <laughs> True, the one before the last one. <laughs> Love it. All right, so at what point is he just showing off, E? They're liking the green. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pretty little fish. Yeah, it is. What's the limit on walleye, Bob? Five per person. Is there a size or anything over 14? 15 inches. 15 inches. All right, well, I'm certainly going to make I think they'll make her. <laughs> Are you studying this? Got it. They're not in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Water. Throw it in the water. All right. <laughs> the bite near the base of those trees was pretty good. The bite in the trees, not so much. Work, I think. Fortunately, right. that bad boy in here. Nice fish. You realize every third fish goes to the camera help, right? <laughs> Is that how that works? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are getting this whole walleye thing figured out. <laughs> yep, yep. You uh, suppose sooner or later I could catch one? No. No. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you've met my wife, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. Put it in a bucket. Hey, E. I think you're down. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Bob. Hey, no problem, you're man. You're putting, putting the boys on them, man. That's what I'm here for. Things were really starting to go good. Not perfect. You got you to set the hooks on. I'm trying. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> hey, wait, it's not over. Somebody else got a fish. Hold on. Catch them too quick here. I can, I'm going to cut all your guys' lines so I can go fishing here in a minute. That's a real one. It's a real one? It's a real one. Well, that's good. So let me cut it off now then. You don't want to be showing off. Hopefully it's not a sucker in the side. Nothing but moving water. It looks like a big fish to me. It's a good hey. one. Hey. It just hey. came off. Where'd it go? <laughs> hey. He's camera shy, I guess. Hey. And uh, that's the biggest fish of the trip. I'm gonna get another one. Are you? Yep. That's the right I'm attitude. I'm gonna put Ian back here. Come here, Ian. I guess. He's gonna put you in the spot now. No pressure, right? Yeah. Just get her done. No pressure. People always catch fish at this spot. Halfway you would be up. the only guy ever. Hit it out a little further. <laughs> to not catch one here. You understand that, right? Yeah. All right, no Can't pressure play. though. Good. Right at the bottom. Let it sink, Good. let it sink. Now just uh, come up. Feel it come off the bottom. Set it, set it, set it. Set it. Hit him. <laughs> oh, that was a weed. That was a weed. Yeah, we got evidence. Let's try it again. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no, they're not in the trees. Didn't you learn nothing from your dad? <laughs> I tried that. Nick, it's your boy. <laughs> Pressure. There it is, right there. It hit the water. I saw it. Let going? it sink. Going? No. Do it again. Here a little bit. Feel that jig come up, feel it bump. You feel him? Yeah. You see it rock? Yeah. That's a fish, see? That's what that's how that works. Good right job. On. Right on it. Are you feeling the jig hit? Yeah, I can. 
this type of fishing takes a little bit of finesse working a jig like that and Bob was doing a great job of explaining and showing Ian how to get the feel of it. You want to imagine that jig sitting on there going six inches off the bottom and slowly settling down. Six inches off the bottom and settling down. We were working this spot a little more than we had in the past simply because it was coughing up quite a few fish and then just before we were ready to quit it and move down the river Look at the kid, the fish, the story. Huh. I'm gonna have to get further away. That fish is so big, I'm gonna have to, oh my God. It's, hey, it's a fish, better than what I got, which is nothing. Nice job, put that one back. Ian was definitely learning something, even if he wasn't in school. And more importantly, he was showing signs of retaining the lessons he was given. Yeah. Where's that going? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I think this is, a, this is a bob fish. Oh, yeah. That's a bob fish. I've seen this before. You want a kissy? Nice. You know. How's that fish get upside down and get hooked like that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Well, maybe he was watching a little too closely. You know how easy it is for young people to pick up bad habits. Hey, Grandpa will tell you you are who you hang with. Fortunately for us, the walleye bite wasn't over. Not okay. just yet. Where? Well, there must be a hole up here. Must be a hole. He's sleeping. Yeah, that is a pretty good looking fish down there, Mr. Bob. Not too shabby. All right, throw it back in. We need more energy. You guys are just going to dog. Yeah, I know. Wow. Look at that television I'm show is this. Boy, <laughs> man. Hey, you guys are no Do help. I'll fire the whole bunch of these guys, don't oh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good fish. Put it, it in a box. You guys are no help. Why'd you even bring these guys? I don't know. I was, he he wanted to come for one, so... Yeah, I know. Bob definitely had us on a spot. The fish were coming pretty regular. Folks, this was beginning to be like, well, I don't know, fun. Yeah, fish on. A fish. I'd say that's a big old walleye, buddy. The biggest one so far. Yeah. We might have to have somebody net that. I can do that. Look at that. Nice fish. What do you say? I don't. It, 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 yeah, just not mine, right? Who yeah. cares? <laughs> Get it out of the way. Exactly. Oh, that's my finger. <laughs> no, <laughs> <it wasn't even. laughs> you got a fish, didn't you? I did get a fish. You got the, Try uh, to hook me on the way out. That's all right. It's a darn nice fish. Hold that thing up. Absolutely. You want a picture with that? That's probably nice of walleyes you're going to see today. What do you think? Awesome. Well, after that near mishap, we decided we'd best move along. We worked our way down a little bit, and then Bob set us up under a trestle. We were going to fish some of the back eddies from the piled up log jams and stuff. This looked like a perfect spot. All right, lunch is over. Now you're getting back to work. Okay? Just after finishing our lunch, Bob got us lined out downstream from that log jam. And then Ian set to prove, and he actually had been paying attention. Yeah, your bottom's swimming. I got a fish. Fish, look <laughs> at the size of that fish. Holy smacks. You didn't just get a fish. That is a nice fish. How'd you do okay. that? This is your fault. Do you blame him? I blame him. Yeah. yeah. Turn around and show me one. You don't want me catch him. What you can do is show me one. Hey. Nice fish. Thanks. Don't thank me, thank that guy in the back of the boat. Thank you. You're welcome. Ian was definitely getting the feel for this kind of fishing, working a jig in a current. And I'll tell you, it wasn't just Ian. Nick was getting the hang of it too. Oh, so there, there are go. still fish in here. Hey there. There's a fish here, I think. 
Ian can't catch all the big ones. It's too much, too much net. Makes my fish look small. Pretty little. Yeah. If you get one of them little guppy nets, that thing right. look huge. <laughs> well, I think we got plenty in the box, don't you? I think you throw her back. I think he's a hen, but him. I think either way we. Hey. Okay. He gone. He's gone. He's gone. Yep. All right. Well, we already had more than three-fourths of a limit, plenty enough for a good meal, but Ian wasn't ready to quit, not just yet. Further proof, I think, that the cure was working. He kept saying, hey, just one more cast, one more spot. Oh, now what? I come back here to take the fishing pole and then you catch fish? Yeah. That's the deal? Go down. There you go. Nice. Now, now can we go to lunch? Sure. <laughs> Bob, you believe this kid? He's a trooper. Yeah, that's the one, that's a word. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the word I'd have used. No, probably not. Jeez, I should probably drop you off at school, huh? No. <laughs> that's a pretty good mess of fish, brother. I was getting them. Is that all right? Yeah. All right, you got 10 minutes to catch one more fish and we're going home. All right? Yeah. I don't know. That kid. I don't know who raised him. Nobody. We were raised by wolves. Most likely. My friends, that's a good day fishing in Michigan right there. And we do all right. Yeah. And that, yes, that's the face of a cured cabin fever sufferer. <laughs> we had such a good time. Thanks again, Bob and Nick and Ian, for letting me share that adventure. Anytime you can get out and do that kind of fishing, any kind of fishing in the great state of Michigan, I suggest you do it. And if you've got one of those teenagers that's sick of sitting around, get him in a boat, put a fishing pole in his hand, and you're going to see the kind of smiles we saw before very long. Hey, I hope we see some of you out there because it truly is just what the doctor ordered. And if we do, well, you know we're going to stop and share that cup and a fire, maybe a fishing story or two. And if we don't see you out there, friends, well, then we'll wait for you right back here so we can share another adventure from my Wilderness Journal.